have that constant influx of paperwork, especially mail, into our homes every day. The question is, are you organising and managing it or are you not? Well, if that's your challenge, today's your day because my friends at Me In Order have a great video on how to get your mail organised, managed and kept under control. Check it out. Every day we welcome a pile of mail into our home. But if we don't deal with this paper as soon as it comes in, it can pile up quickly. We are here today to tell you how to deal with the paper, even if you don't have a lot of time. First, start by sorting the mail. Quickly sort through the pile and group like items together. These categories will differ each day, but we create piles for bills, items we want to read, like magazines or flyers, junk mail, mail for someone else in the home, and personal items like cards. Now you can start opening your mail. The key here is to eliminate all unnecessary paper that's come into your home. That means disposing envelopes that are unneeded, any inserts that come as well. For example, in bills. If you pay your bills online, you only need to keep the statement. You do not need to keep the return envelope or any other advertisements that might come along with it. This way, you're only left with what you need to deal with. Now that the mail is sorted, you need to assign a home and contain it. Start by taking your junk mail and place it in the recycle bin or trash can. Take the items you want to read to a place where you would take the time to read it, like a coffee table or bedside table. Place the mail for other people in your home in their inbox of your mail center or on their bed. Take bills where you have checks and stamps or wherever you would pay your bills, like by the computer. Items you want to store or file should be put away at this time. Items with private or personal information should be shredded. We recommend that everyone has a quality shredder in their home to make this process simpler. Last but not least is to maintain. With this easy step-by-step -step process, you can eliminate the piles of mail each day as they come in. Try to set aside a time each day to deal with your mail, or at least a couple times a week. You can create an inbox for your mail if you don't have time to sort it immediately, but when your inbox gets full, make sure you sort it. Paper is one of the hardest things we deal with every day, but we hope that with these steps on sorting your mail, you can cut down the amount of paper clutter in your home. Happy sorting!